we are going to learn about the partograph so what is the partograph so the start off with questions the first question is what is molding what is molding the second question is what is the alert line what is alert line and then the third question is what is the action line so in this video we'll find out the answers to all these questions and there are some bonus questions in the end of the video so first to start off with we are going to look at the who modified partograph partograph so that is in the year 2000 so first to start with there is no latent phase there is no latent phase and next what are the we look at the vagina that is a vaginal examination so this vaginal examination this should be done in no less than every four hours so no less than every four hours to assess the cervical dilation so it is used to assess the cervical dilation and also the descent cervical dilation there is descent there is a descent of the fetal head descent of the fetal head next there is also the molding there is molding and this is of the skull bones skull bones and more frequent examination is only undertaken if indicated so the frequency you can say it is increased only if there are some indications next when we go ahead uh, the charting it starts at when does the charting start so the charting it starts at four centimeters it starts at four centimeters of the cervical dilation and what about the color the color of lyca the color of the lyca the color of the lyca it mentioned as the c c means it is clear and b for the blood b for the blood stained and then we have m and m as we know it is nothing but the meconium so just to write it down m is for the meconium then we look at the uh, molding what is molding so the molding there are some gradings which we need to know so the molding there is grading from 0 to 3 so there is 0 to 3 plus grading so in terms of 0 the 0 means that the bones are separated so the bones are separated it is separated and there are sutures the bones are separated and there are sutures it can be easily felt it is easily felt then there is the one plus so what is one plus one plus means the bones are touching and after one plus there is two plus so two plus it indicates the bones they overlap so bones they overlap so overlapping of bones but can be reduced but can be reduced so what is three plus so three plus indicates that the bones it severely overlaps so bones they severely they severely overlap and they are irreducible irreducible then we move on to the alert line so what is the alert line alert line so alert line basically it reflects the average rate so it reflects the average rate it reflects the average rate of the cervical dilation so there is the average rate of the cervical dilation and this is nothing but of the slowest quintile of the slowest slowest quintile of the term 
प्राइमी ग्रेविड स्लोएस्ट क्वांटाइन ऑफ द टर्म प्राइमी ग्रेविड एंड नेक्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट इफ डायलेशन स्लोज और सीजस सो इन केस इफ डायलेशन इट स्लोज और सीजस व्हाट इज द कंडीशन सो इन केस द डायलेशन इट स्लोज और सीजस द पार्थोग्राम प्लॉट विल क्रॉस द अलर्ट लाइन द पार्थोग्राम प्लॉट इट क्रॉसेस इट क्रॉसेस द अलर्ट लाइन then the alert line is at 4 cm dilation the alert line if you see it is at 4 cm dilation and it is a, and expected dilation of there is expected of 1 cm per hour then we will look at the action line what is the action line so the action line is nothing but uh, it is a uh, 2 to 4 hours after the alert line so it is about 2 to 4 hours after the alert line alert line and it prompts the innovation to accelerate labor so it tells us whether to accelerate accelerate the labor or not so it gives indications to accelerate the labor or not and it prompts uh it prompts the innovations to accelerate the labor that's what we discussed and there are higher rates there are higher rates there are higher rates of the perinatal mortality higher rates of the perinatal mortality and it should be and it is associated with the delays it is associated with delays of 4 hours delays of 4 hours or more after the alert line so what are the con the contractions if you see it is the contractions if you see it is measured it is measured for a span of 10 minutes it is measured for span of 10 minutes and the duration is noted duration is noted and it is measured for every 30 minutes so every 30 minutes it is measured and it is marked with a dot it is marked with a dot next we looking at the blood pressure how is the blood pressure into consideration so the blood pressure if you see it is recorded every 4 hours it is recorded every 4 hours the blood pressure is recorded and it is marked with arrows so it is marked with arrows arrows and unless the patient has a hypertensive disorder or preeclampsia in which so in cases of the preeclampsia preeclampsia or in cases of the hypertensive disorders so in such cases it is recorded every 30 minutes is recorded every 30 minutes next what we see is the temperature so the temperature if you see it has to be recorded every 4 hours temperature is recorded every 4 hours next question next thing we are going to look at the who composite parthograph who composite parthograph so what is this who composite parthograph it is nothing but a modification of the original parthograph so it is nothing but a modification of the parthograph and except the latent phase and charting so the latent phase latent phase and the charting is done at 3 cm 
Then we look at the WHO simplified pathograph. So WHO simplified pathograph. So the WHO simplified pathograph is uh, the WHO. It further modified the pathograph for the skilled attendants in the healthcare workers. They simplified and it became color coded. It became color coded. So here the area to the left of the alert line. There is a alert line. So the area which is left of alert line of the alert line. So this is in the cervical graph. So in the cervical graph. So this is colored green. This is colored green and represents the normal progress. So this is nothing but the normal progress. And then there is an area right in the to the right of action line. So there is right of action line. So this is colored red. It is colored red. And it indicates dangerously slow progress. It shows the slow progress in labor. It shows the slow progress in case of the labor. And the area right in between. So the area in between. So the area right in between the alert and the action line. What is it? Alert and the action line. So what is this? So the area in between the the alert and the action line is nothing but it is colored amber it is colored amber and what is this this indicates the need for the greater vigilance so it indicates the need for the greater vigilance so now going back to answer our questions so now we have a segment of answering our questions we asked so the first question we asked was what is molding so if you see molding it is uh, we need to know that there is uh, different classes that is 0 2 3 plus so what does everything indicate so molding of zero score it indicates that the bones are separated the bones if you see they are separated and the sutures they are can be felt easily and sutures felt easily then we look at the grade of one so what does one mean one means the bones are touching bones are touching and then we move on to the two what does two indicate two indicates that the bones overlap bones overlap but can be reduced but can be reduced the third thing is that the bones they severely overlap the bones they severely overlap and are irreducible so next the second question we asked was what is the alert line so the alert line was nothing but it reflects the average rate of cervical dilation so it reflects the average rate of the cervical dilation of of what of the slowest contile of the slowest slowest quantile of the term primary gravida of term primary gravida and if dilation slows or ceases we need to know that if dilation it slows or ceases what is the thing the pathogram plot in such case the parto graph plot it will cross the alert line it will cross the alert line and now we look at the alert line it the alert line is at 4 centimeter dilation 
and it can expect a dilation of 1 cm per hour. Next, we look at the action line. So, what is the action line? The action line, it is 2 to 4 hours, 2 to 4 hours after the alert line and it prompts the innovations it prompts the innovations and this is to accelerate it accelerates labor it accelerates labor or performs the cesarean section So another point to note is that the higher rates of the mortality, the in case of the higher rates of the perinatal mortality. So in cases of higher rates of perinatal mortality, they are associated with delays of, they are associated with delays of more than 4 hours, more than 4 hours after the alert line. So now we move on to some bonus questions which can be answered in the comments. So looking at the bonus questions, the first question we would like to ask is, talk about the vaginal examination in the partogram and how significant is it the second question will be talk about the measurement of the blood pressure as well as the pulse and temperature so how are they measured and how what is the frequency of measurement and what is the significance and what are the treatment in case of the alteration of the same the next question will be what is the WHO composite partograph and how different is it from the simplified partograph? Simplified partograph. So these answers can be given in the comment section.